What's up, y'all? So, sorry I didn't post yesterday. I feel really bad. I actually woke up with a pretty bad cold and uh, I like couldn't talk. It was really annoying. I tried laying in bed and resting. I got anxious, so I came down and started wrenching on the hatch. And as you guys know, we just threw the SR in it last video and it went pretty quickly. We took it right out of the white car and dropped it right in. If you guys didn't watch that video, you're probably really confused. Just go watch it because I'm not going to explain it. But I ended up coming down yesterday and just kind of quietly getting a few things done to myself. And I ended up actually getting more done than I anticipated. I basically fully finished the swap. I got the drive shaft in, I got the exhaust fully on, the uh, fuel lines. Basically, the only thing I didn't do yet is finish the manual conversion. So we got to put the pedal in and the slave, put coolant in it, wire up the E fans, and yeah, then we could basically drive it, which is pretty crazy. So I'm really upset. I didn't film the first start. Um, I was kind of in the zone and it just started first try and I couldn't believe it, but I can't get over how well this thing runs. Check it out. So good. This thing sounds amazing. I knew it was a healthy SR, but listen. I am so happy because I was I was a little worried about it because it has been sitting for a long time, but doesn't smoke, doesn't tick, nothing. So this car was automatic when we got it, as you guys know. So to finish up the manual swap, we have to put the clutch pedal in, the master cylinder, the line, and the slave. So now we just gotta put the pedal in the master and then bleed it and we're good to go. Part of that, I just filmed with Brian like five minutes ago. Check it out. If you guys look right here, there's actually the template for the pedal right there. So you have the two small holes, one, two, and the big one. We gotta drill those all out. Oh. oh! Man, the firewall is a thin piece of metal. Nice. Let's see if this thing fits. Ah, nice. Then we take this. She just slip. Right there. All right, so now that we have the clutch pedal in and we replaced the steering column yesterday, it's officially time to get the interior back in the car and I'm so excited because I've been waiting literally a week to do this. All the pieces are all cleaned up, so let's just get to work and throw it all back in. Here we go. Front half of the interior is basically done. Uh, we're missing a few things, but man, does it look amazing. It's so nice to see this. It's really starting to feel like a car again. So we still need, obviously, the back seats and the back carpet. Uh, I still gotta figure out what I wanna do about those because they still stink really bad and I don't wanna put them back in, so we'll probably just find new ones. Uh, as far as needing for the front, uh, I still need a radio. And then I have to put like a gauge pod holder there since we're gonna run gauges. Since we have an SR, we wanna make sure that it's running correctly. And then it also needs a steering wheel. I have the perfect steering wheel for it in the office, but I don't have the hub for it that will adapt it to the Nissan spline. So we'll order that, get it in, but uh, I'm really happy. Even though this time lapse has probably been 45 seconds, uh, this has kicked my ass because everything in the interior was completely completely disgusting so I had to clean all the little interior bits put them in and I wanted to make sure I wasn't missing any bolts at all because I don't know I feel like this car deserves to have no missing bolts like even like the bolts that you don't really need in the interior I put in because it's worth it so but right now I am more than happy with the interior let's just look at it one more time like this makes me feel so good nothing beats a full clean interior in a 240SX so 
But now I gotta go find someone to help me bleed the slave cylinder, and uh, we can put it on the ground, bleed the coolant, and take it for its first drive. After I get food. Magically, the clutch is blood, ready to go, car's on the ground, and it's almost time. Now we just gotta bleed the coolant, and uh, probably just hardwire the fans, because I don't have a switch for them yet, but that's no biggie, so. Alright, so the headlights weren't working before, but they magically started to work. I'm hoping that's just a voltage issue. Most likely it makes sense. And then we also have, I never checked this before either, we have working tail lights, which is sick. I don't know what's going on with the speedometer, because we're definitely not going 35 miles per hour. But it looks like the tack is working, and so is the coolant temp sensor, which is really, really good news. Now, I didn't say it in like the previous clip, but when you do an SR swap into one of these cars, you actually have to swap to a dual cam cluster. I guess the tack just doesn't work with the single cam cluster. Uh, the scaling is just off. So uh, luckily I had two dual cam chassis over there, so I just took one of those clusters. So not a big deal. Basically up to operating temp, so let's rev it up for the first time. I'm really, really nervous, but I shouldn't be. This should sound amazing. So let's check it out. No, that sounds really good. Engine sounds nice and healthy. So um, I think it's basically ready to go for a ride. Only thing that kind of sucks is I don't have a battery and I don't have a driver's seat. So we'll improvise. All right. Let's see how the clutch feels for the first time. Yeah. Looks like I'm gonna put a new clutch in this thing. Ah! Oh my God, look at it. Oh, hi Steph. Hi. How's it look moving under its own power? It's so strange. <laughs> it sounds nice though too. There's a big ass exhaust leak under my ass because the O2 was supposed to go there and it's not, so. How you doing? I'm good, this is crazy, it's moving. I know I need a seat <laughs> and a battery. <laughs> I was thinking about taking it outside, but then I realized the the pavement getting out of my yes. garage is like it will rip my exhaust off, and it's not worth it for a quick little test drive. But uh, the clutch yeah. the clutch catches just a little bit higher than I wanted to. I could probably adjust the pedal a little bit to um, to make up for that. But it moved under its own power, and it's staying cold. It sounds great. It's not smoking a single ounce of smoke. And I'm, I'm so happy. This was a somewhat of a mystery engine and it seems like it's doing pretty good, so. I'm still just shocked that it's moving and Yeah, this is, this is the fastest SR swap I've ever done. How, sure. When was that started? Um, it started for the first time 20, less than 24 hours from it being pulled from that car. I feel like I was gone for a minute and came back and it's moving. It's just this, the black wheels just ruin it. All right, so the swap is basically done. All I have to do now is literally wire up the fans to a temperature switch, and it's like safe to drive on the road and everything else, and that's insane. I do want to get a standalone ECU on this like ASAP because I just don't trust the stock ECU. I mean, it's old. Um, with the aftermarket ECU and bigger injectors, I can make like 100 more horsepower out of this thing, which is pretty crazy. So I have to say too, for you guys watching, uh, huge shout out to you guys for being so supportive of the SR swap. I was a little nervous about it being controversial about being an SR, but you guys have been really awesome about it and I really appreciate it. But Steffi's here and Steffi wants to... I want to open something. Yeah, she wants to open some sub mail. So we've gotten a lot of sub mail since the last video and uh, Steffi wants to do a couple. So I'm going to let her pick like two or three. Sub mail with Steffi. Stephanie. All right, this is oh all Oh my you. gosh, they paid $30 to ship this. Oh my gosh. From Australia. I wonder if it's one of those moments, like I've done it before, where you go to the post office expecting it to be like five bucks and you get there and it's like 30 and you feel too awkward to say no because you don't want to look cheap. So whoever it is, thank you. Confectionary? Confect. Oh, there's food. What is that word? What do we got? Mega oh. minty moments. Ooh, 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 ooh. What does that say? I love Kransky. Oh. This is from Ashley Lissler. Lissler. There's no note though. Thanks, Ash. 
How's these big minty balls taste? Mmm, they're good. Thanks, Ashley. They're so good. Press and flick. We got a razor blade? Utility knife. Nice. See, we always have blades, but we never actually have the knife holder itself. That's really nice. Dear Jimmy and the gang, I've been watching your videos since the SRZ swap. You've come a long way and we're all happy as hell for you. The videos keep us all entertained and gives us inspiration for our builds. Keep up the great work and say fuck you to all the haters. <laughs> Renee Herrera. Oh no, sounds like Renee. Yeah, haha. <laughs> Thank you, Renee. That's awesome. We Renee really appreciate all. that. Tools are the best. Thank you. All right, so we got candy, we got some tools. What do we got next? Amazon. The fuck? Bow lens? You <laughs> what the fuck? What? It says customer James Oaks. I didn't buy you. What, what the you fuck are you doing, what? Jimmy? Where did that come from? How did I buy how did I find this one? <laughs> um that, 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 that wasn't um, me. Are you sure? <laughs> Jesse! That was all you kid. Uh oh. <laughs> what? This is really funny. What the fuck? Yeah, those won't fit you. <laughs> You fucking did this yourself, Jimmy. <laughs> What's <is> happening? <laughs> Who played me like this? Yeah. Jimmy, were you not gonna tell me about this? <laughs> <laughs> I just died. <laughs> Another one too. It's size forty-two ninety-five. What? What? <laughs> I don't even know what to say, Jimmy. What the f All right. All right, so what's your PMB box number? 169. This is to 109. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> this was you need to find out who 109 is. Oh my god. I really thought it was you. That is the funniest <laughs> thing ever. <laughs> so my PO box is 169. This was supposed to go in 109. So we just got someone else's Amazon package. <laughs> Look at it. Oh my god, that's so awkward. The customer name is my is my box, as you can tell. And Steph's calling me out for it. But yeah, that is the funniest thing I've ever heard. I want another one. I want to pick up one. No, that's it for tonight. Before anything else gets sent in my mailbox. So <laughs> I can't believe it. With that, we're gonna end it. Stay excited for tomorrow. Steph, you got yourself a nice set of bras now, so no, you know the deal. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. And Steffi? Have a great day, everybody. Give them to